My name is Ronald, and I am from the island of Oahu. Hi, I'm Vicky, and I'm a student ambassador. My name is Megan Oliger, I'm 25 years old, and I'm from Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I am your student ambassador. I'm Kristen, and I am 27, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> Wait, are you sure you're 27? My name's Nikki, and I'm from Chino Hills, California. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm a student ambassador. Hi, my name is Candice. I'm 25. And I'm Michelle. I'm from Puerto Rico. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm a student ambassador. Hi, I'm Chris Yu. I'm from Sacramento, California. Hi, my name is Jeff, 23, Diamond Bar, California. My name is Michelle, and I'm from California. <laughs> Hi, my, my name is Lam Lee. I'm 23. I'm from Orange County, California. I'm Niaz. I'm from California, too. So I'm Mahina, I'm from LA, California, and I'm 23 years old. Uh, well, my name's Elena. So my name's Tiffany Alberg. I'm from Santa Barbara, California. Um, my name's Zach Downs. Um, I'm the class vice president for the class of 2018. I'm Kimberly Wu. My name is Matt Chen. I'm Lauren, and I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm 25 years old. My name's Katrina, and I'm from North Dakota. And I am Chelsea, but we also go by the, the Cheetah Girls. Girls. <laughs> And we're from the class of 2018. So um, starting out, could you tell us a bit about your orientation with the experience? So. Uh, for me, it was actually kind of overwhelming. I didn't really know what to expect. We got a lot of paperwork. I signed a lot of things, and I have no idea what I signed. <laughs> I think for me, I was really nervous about um, meeting people. But if you meet us in orientation week, you should remember us. <laughs> You're going to know these people for like the next three to four years of your life. So um, be open, be willing to meet people. Um, there's just going to be some people that you just click better with. But yeah, just just have fun with it. Just don't think about it too much. How were the first few weeks of school like for you? Uh, there's like a bazillion things going on. There's meetings like every other day and you have no idea what they're about. And they're like, you need to come. Everybody's like, hi, come to my meeting. Hi, come to my meeting. And you eat a lot of pizza because all of the clubs give you free pizza because you don't get pizza anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, never one, yeah. you never get pizza after. It was a one-time thing. <laughs> For both first and second year, you get to have your classes in the afternoon so you can sleep in. But the easy part was that you didn't have any tests. So Ooh. those two weeks, <laughs> I went hiking, Enjoy. I went to the beach, <laughs> I ate a lot. And you don't know what's going on. It takes you like 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have no <laughs> idea what's going on until like a month later, so. <laughs> That's kind of what the first couple of weeks were like. So what is your biggest piece of advice you would give to the P1s in order to survive this class? So. Sleep, eat, and just, you know, just chill out, you know? Study groups really do help and it really does like drill that information in. Study individually first and then study as a group. Manage your time well so that you get all the material because it's a, it's a lot of material. Just pray. Pray. <laughs> D for donkey. D for donkey. D for donkey. D for donkey just to the line. <laughs> okay, what on-campus organizations are you a part of? All of them. <laughs> I literally just signed up for everything. We're in PDC. By Delta Chi. But we're also part of NCPA, National Community Pharmacists Association, APHA, American Pharmacists Association, slash ASP, a ASP. American <laughs> Student Pharmacists. Uh, we're both activity coordinators for the class of 2018. So there's PDC, Phi Delta Chi, and KY, which is Kappa Psi. So I'm also a member of APHA, and I'm also on class council. Um, student council as well, APHA, uh, Kappa Psi, and PIMSC. PDC, APHA, the What About Tobacco Prevention Project, Aloha Project, HSSHP, and NCPA. Oh, and I also worked at Dr. Jarvie's research lab for rat lung wound disease and avian malaria. All right, so why did you guys choose to be a part of these clubs? It's a good way to expand on things that are actually related to your profession. I feel like I used to be in a lot of clubs that really had nothing to do with life in general. But these, these, you do things, you do health screenings, and it makes you a better pharmacist. So besides the fact that you're like having fun with your friends and you're doing good things in the community, you're like actually becoming a better pharmacist. I think it's also a good way to meet other uh, pharmacy students in other classes. So I know a lot of P2s, P3s, P4s because of these student organizations. Um, that I wouldn't like have a house right now if I didn't join PDC. <laughs> I was okay. Well, I probably wouldn't be homeless, but like that's how I met a P3 who I wouldn't have really met otherwise, and that's who I live with now. Okay. 
So, um, outside of farm to school, what did you guys do to enjoy it? <laughs> Nothing. School is life. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Go to Target. That's a huge one here. <laughs> Uh, no, like Lauren said, uh, mostly just, you know, we live in paradise, so just take advantage of that, you know, be outside, take advantage of the good weather, the beaches, the chicken. <laughs> but there's a lot to do out here. Um, he goes on hikes all the time. Uh, hikes. Um, there's a lot of cool, like, waterfalls and volcanoes to check out. Well, the coolest thing that I've experienced, experienced outside of school is the Merry Monarch, and it's like, uh, the biggest hula competition, and it was the first time I was exposed to real hula instead of like hula hip hop. <laughs> so I was like really into it, and it's so fun. So I like to go um, hiking or searching for waterfalls. There's a lot of waterfalls here. Um, you can also go to South Point, which is the most southern point tip of the United States, and from there you can hike to Green Tan Beach. Um, there's only four in the world, so it's one of four, which is 25% of them done, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just have to take like a day to relieve stress and to not think about pharmacy school. Uh, it's a great experience. <laughs> Any final pieces of advice that you guys want to give to the upcoming P1s? Just have fun and have an open mind about everything. Your first year, enjoy it. Be on time. <laughs> Definitely be on time. Be you. Do you, boo boo. <laughs> Stay positive. Oh, get a four wheel drive car. You can go anywhere because it's really not anything that you'd expect, but um, you have a lot of people going through it also, so you always have to so. I don't know, P1 year is just like the chillest year out of all of them. Oh, I recommend looking up like at the sky, um, especially at night. Just really enjoy it, live it up, enjoy Hawaii, because after that, you're just gonna get really busy. There's a ton of stars, and it's, it's so cool. It's my favorite part of Hilo. My biggest advice would be to not see pharmacy school as a competition. The best way, banana bread is in one man. But don't study too much, but really do have fun on the island. Like, when is the chance you're going to be here in Hawaii, especially for people who are from the mainland? Bring a car. Have a car with you. You need it. Yeah, take advantage of your time while you're here. Um, I can't believe we're filming this right now at the end of our P1 year, so and I can't believe we're almost <laughs> to the end of our P1 year. Yeah. It's, it really flies by. Um, I brought my umbrella, even though it's not raining, but I brought my umbrella. You never know what's going to rain. Don't be afraid to be confident. Try to test your limits to see what you're capable of. Go see the turtles. They're everywhere. I don't know, just enjoy your time here in Hawaii. Just so stressed. <laughs> like, I was really stressed the first semester because I didn't know what to expect. You're not in this alone. We're all in this together. You can do everything. Like, people here are really willing to help you and like, it's really good. I really like it. Remember what your goal is, like why you came to this pharmacy school and don't ever lose sight of that. Pharmacy is ever-changing, so you never know what you like, try new things, it might change. Good, Good luck in coming P1s. Good luck P1s. Good luck. Good luck P1s. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Good luck guys. I got this. Good luck P1s. Good luck P1s. Good, Good luck, luck guys. <laughs> can't wait to meet you. Yeah, I can't wait to meet you. We're always here for you. Good luck you guys. Good luck, have fun. Good luck everyone. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck incoming P1s. You can do it. Good luck incoming P1s. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Check your shackles. <laughs> <laughs> it took shackles. <laughs>